One of the nice features on the advanced side is the ability to display multiple things on the screen at the same time. It's kind of a, uh, a more advanced feature. Most technicians are not going to necessarily want to use it, but when you do discover it and you have two devices, for example, the VCI or you have the 5200, you may want to work together in the same software to get information that you're looking at. So now let's take a look and see how that works. Right now, we're getting ready to look at some OBD controls. So let's go ahead and hit OBD controls. We'll do engine. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the fuel pump, for example. And here we go, right to increase, left to decrease. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Let's go ahead and get some data on the screen. So all I really need to see right now is the control side over here and my command. I'm going to go up to window and I can do what we call cascade or tile. I'm going to click tile and now you can see that multiple items have come up. The one that just came up is the screen for the 5200. Now I can operate the 5200 from here. So let's say for example I've got a low current probe and I want to take a look at the fuel pump command while I'm using a bidirectional control. So I'm going to go to the four channel oscilloscope and I can control it from here. I'm going to do one extra thing. I'm going to go to the control toolbar. I'm going to hide this edge of it. Now I'm going to minimize this particular section. I'm going to drag this over. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. So now I've got a decent look at my scope. So I got the things I want to see there. So let's go ahead and do a component selection. Let's do current waveforms. Let's go ahead and set up for my fuel pump. Okay, now I'm preset. Now I'm going to go over to my scan tool. I'm going to resize it. Depending upon the size of your screen, you may be able to fit a lot more information, but I've got some limitations here. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll over. And all I want to do is I've got to make sure I can use that right arrow button. And I'd also like to monitor the none button. Okay, let's keep working it. Okay, so there I can see that. I can see most of my scope screen. So now what I would do is I'd go ahead and command the fuel pump on. And you can see here we have a 90% command. And if we had the current probe hooked up, right here we would see that display. Now you might want to say, okay, I, I want to capture something. If you capture it, it's only in the active button. But here's some things that I've done in the past. You can always go ahead and hit the old print screen, right? If I hit print screen right now, and I go over here, and let's go ahead and find paint. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that, right? So that's what I just collected. If I want to save it, right, I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit save. And we're just going to go ahead and throw that right on the desktop. So there's my untitled one there. And let's throw it under pictures, because we went there before. Let's go samples. And let's say fuel pump. Okay, now let's go ahead and save that. So we can close this. So I've got this image. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to open up my original file that I was working on. Right, we can do that one of two ways. Let me show you a different way you can do that. Let's go over here. Let me close this. Up here, here's the last vehicles I was working on. There's my new vehicle there. Now let's go to picture, right? Let's go to import. There's my fuel pump. Let's go ahead and import that in and let's put just FP for fuel pump. Let's add that and we'll give that a second. Okay. And here's the picture that I just captured. Okay. If I want to go back, right? I'm going to go back, there's my VCI. If I hit minimize on my VCI, it drops back in the same point. If I go to engine analyzer, it's basically in the same point. All I need to do is scroll over and take care of that. I'm going to hit the exit button, which will go ahead and trigger that fuel pump off. So we've just showed you a cool feature, being able to show lab scope data and scan tool data on the screen at the same time. Not only that, I can command a bidirectional control and then see the result on a lab scope. For me, that's a nice feature to have. I'm able to integrate diagnostic tools on one screen without looking over here, looking over there, going back, having two people work the process. So it's a nice feature to have. Now, let's go ahead and look at some features of the EasyTronic 2.0.